They were discovered back in 1999 on the top of a very high volcano, about 6,000 metres high, so it's obviously very cold up there. And there were three bodies found, um, a 13-year-old girl and two young ch younger children, two, one a, a four-year-old boy and another five-year-old girl. So quite a macabre discovery, though, because they were the victims of child sacrifice, a practice that was quite common during the Inca time. So these extensive tests have been done on them. What did they show, these tests? Well, they were actually looking at their hair because your hair can actually tell you quite a lot about the sorts of um, foods and drinks you've been ingesting. And basically, they found out all three children had been given large quantities of alcohol, a type of beer brewed from maize, and also um, coca leaves, so this is from which cocaine's extracted. So, so they were effectively given drugs and alcohol. Now the teenage girl is quite interesting, she was um, 13 years old and valued probably a bit more highly than the younger children because she was prepubescent, um, treated as a, a virgin, so she was uh, obviously something more important to sacrifice than the, the younger children. And they found from her hair that she had very high levels of coca about a year before her death. And this probably ties in with the time she was selected from sacrifice. So she was plucked from her village, she's probably a peasant, and um, then prepared for this horrible demise. And can, do we know more about how the tests were actually done? They just analysed the hair strands? Yeah, so it's amazing. I mean, it's, it's like um, they, they're just using analytical forensic techniques that we use now, and you can actually just see the chemicals that are in the hair. They're quite straightforward tests in a way. What's amazing is the chemicals are still there 500 years later. They also found that the teenage girl had been given a really, really large dose of alcohol in the last few weeks up to her death. And this probably means she was quite heavily sedated. So, I mean, it, it really is gruesome. She'd have been drugged, um, given large quantities of alcohol, taken all the way up to the top of this mountain, yeah, put in a shrine, and then left to die. Um, so, and she died peacefully, I mean, as peacefully as you can if you've been sacrificed. She wasn't a hiss or anything like that, but would have passed away from the cold and, and the drugs. And we should also remember, actually, for many families, this was a great honour as well, wasn't it? Yeah, this is, this, this is right. I mean, I wouldn't have been too happy myself if this had happened, but for some families, that's, that's true.